Now joining me now from Oklahoma State University is grain marketing specialist Kim Anderson. So Kim, you just heard what folks are saying. Are there concerns over ethanol's impact on grain prices? Is it fair? Uh, of course there's concerns over that and, and I do think it's fair. If you look at the ethanol, uh, corn use for ethanol, it's about 5 billion bushels. Uh, at 156 bushels per acre, that's the average corn production, it takes 32 million acres of cropland, good quality cropland, high production cropland to produce that uh, corn to make the ethanol. Now, I just read that China is the world's largest energy consumer. When you look at the tremendous development we're seeing in at least that part of the world, can we expect commodity prices, whether they be grain or oil, to go anywhere but up? Well, you know prices, uh, Rob, uh, prices are going to go up and they're going to go down. And there's, going, and there's a lot of volatility in the prices right now. If you'll look, you know, any one day wheat prices may go up or down 80 to 90 cents. However, I think the trend is going to be continue to, to go up as long as there's a strong economic development in China and uh, Eastern Asian countries, bigger, greater demand for the, the oil and uh, petroleum products, prices will continue to go up. All right. Thank you so much, Kim.